Welcome to Twitchy Tuesdays here on DDO's stream. This is Simorku. And just doing the last couple bits of things that are. There we go. Get the chat box resized correctly. Got two different sizes on two different screens. I need to fix that at some point, but there we go. That should do for tonight. Audio looks like it's working. I'll back it off in a bit. Ooh, that's cool. E26 release notes. That should be fun. Some new fun stuff coming out with E26. But man, E3. Wow, lots of stuff. Come out of E3, that's exciting. I basically have seen some of the you know Twitter and Twitch and YouTube coverage. Mostly just watched the big press releases so far. Did uh, WB slash Turbine have anything to announce? Because I really didn't see if they did or not. I think I'll just start with a solo route. Um, my highlights so far have been things like uh, Gears 4, Gears of War 1 Remastered, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, No Man's Sky. There has been some awesome stuff and some really weird puzzling stuff like that. Whatever that dream thing was from Media Molecule, didn't quite get that. The other Final Fantasy game, not sure. They explained a little better in the Squeenix one, but it's for people who are new to the franchise, but it's in a new world and it's chibiized and looks weird. So we'll see how that is. New Tomb Raider, couple new franchises that they're trying to start up that didn't look interesting. Just cause looks amazing. Why am I not wearing my better X? Uh, I don't have anything else at that level. Yeah. Yeah, all sorts of fun stuff from E3. Uh, at a Nintendo, the best thing I saw was the uh, Super Mario Maker. That looks awesome. Finally, officially create and easily create uh, Mario platforming levels. That should be fun. Not that I'll be able to play it since I don't have a console, but... Very exciting. People that do, I'm sure. Yeah, the new Uncharted, uh, the new Tomb Raider, and specifically Just Cause looks amazing. They're all kind of similar. I like that one of the features of the new Tomb Raider is actual tombs to raid this time, instead of the last time it was not very tomby. Um, oh, there's been so many announcements I kind of lost track of them. I'm not into Destiny, but I know a lot of people in Destiny are excited about the new DLC for that. I was just watching Broman talk about that, watch the new trailer and stuff. There's some indie love. 
some games I saw in there that was nice to see coming. Uh, the new Elite on Xbox, that's awesome. Um, oh, so many things kind of all blur together. The new Xbox controller looks interesting until I heard the price tag. <laughs> I don't even have an Xbox One, but I was thinking, you know, maybe I'd hook that to my PC. Not for 150 bucks, though. I'll go with the Steam controller. That's uh, less than half that. One of the Kickstarters I backed sent out a message on Friday saying, Oh, by the way, I've got an extra pass to E3. If anybody wants it, email me. Thinking, well, yeah, but how am I going to do that? Get to LA in the next couple days if I get it. He, didn't, he wasn't going to say you got it until like Monday, so. Okay, it's Monday. I need to figure out how to get out there and where I'm staying. And yeah, it's probably going to be really expensive. So I passed on it. But there was a chance. And just, oh, by the way, we have an extra pass if anybody wants it. Just let me know and I'll let, let you know on Monday. You had to write him a thing on why you wanted to go and stuff. But kind of way too last minute. Otherwise, I would have been all over that. I remember going to CES quite a few years ago, and some other stuff like that. The Detroit Auto Show, or Chicago Auto Shows, and various other things that my father and I used to go to when he was still alive. So it would have been nice to go, but it was only one pass, so the SO couldn't have gone. They had work anyway, but it was a matter of all that stuff. Oh, you know what? I don't have my thing on. Hey, Stevus91, how's it going? And Dirty Dexter, hello. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. Welcome to the stream. We're just uh, starting off with some solo XP grinding here. So with that lovely bonus XP over the weekend, I think last week I was 26 or 27 on stream, and I epic green carded and back to 24 already. I didn't even play that much. I really didn't play that much, and I'm already back up here. So that uh, bonus helps a lot. I got in a couple uh, daily groups to do the three high XP quests and stuff like that. Actually, they went on to do more, but I really don't like uh, Mirror. And by the time they started, I, I was done for the night. But, yeah. I, uh, looking forward, this is my... That was my 11th re Epic Reincarnation. So that means I am down to uh, this one and the next one to get Epic Completionist. In the twist slot. In theory, I could do that in another two weeks. In reality, it's probably going to take over a month, maybe two, depending on how often I actually play. It'll be a nice accomplishment to get that done out of the way. I just rebooted the computer before starting. Um, let's see, here it is. Let me get the link out. I'm not even logged into Flow, no wonder. Get Flow to be on top. Let's actually see chat easier. And we'll see if this comes across. Yeah, there it goes. Any questions about my characters and such? There we go. It's relatively up to date. Oh, 
when I need to turn my uh, post processing effects off. I'm really lagging here by the ship. <laughs> there was so much good stuff. Yeah. A lot of it that, you know, I don't care about, but I was like, oh, cool. You know, the people who like that store of stuff is going to enjoy that particular thing. Like the new Madden, all that stuff. I don't really care for sports games that much, so. Not even hockey, which is a sport. Mainstream sport I enjoy. But yeah, there's just a couple things that are... The Xbox One's backward compatibility was awesome to hear. I pretty much given up on Xbox, but it was nice to hear that. Um, yeah. And you know, the, the couple things I noticed amongst everything was they were really mostly talking about games this time. A little bit about hardware, a little bit about, you know, like TV and other things. There was, you know, the step into VR and AR and that sort of stuff, but mostly it was about games. And then the other thing that they did well was it was a lot of gameplay footage of here's gameplay footage or here's somebody actually playing it, not here's all the cutscenes and no gameplay. Which can get kind of old and somewhat worrying. Can I heal up, please? I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Please, heals. Where's my heals? There we go. Take time out to pick up some treasure bags. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, the great thing about PS4, I feel, is you know, with Plus, you get a lot of games free, so if you pass on something now, or when it comes out, then you'll have an opportunity later probably to pick it up. What was that new game with the uh, robot dinosaurs and the tribal hunter? She was in First Horizon, was it? Or something like that? That looked awesome. Very interesting blend of stuff. Um, of course, Fallout 4. I didn't really care about Doom. Um, a couple others, but yeah. All In all, it was really went back to, hey, this is gaming. This is the new exciting stuff coming up for gaming. Oh, and Cuphead. I really want to play Cuphead. Cuphead looks so fun. Yeah. Exactly. I love PS Plus for that. I, I think, you know, I forgot that I still had Xbox Live Gold because I haven't booted the Xbox in months. On purpose, anyway. Um, I forgot I had Gold, so I could have been getting some free games there, but just not really going to play them, so no real point. If I play anything, it's on PS4 now. Console-wise. I, I don't even know where my OUYA is. I had it hooked up for a while. Don't have the one. My PS4 gets pretty regularly use, if at least watching Twitch, if nothing else. Yeah, sixty dollars for thirteen hundred dollars worth of games. That's just amazing. I did buy some stuff on the PS4, and some of the stuff was on Plus later, so that was you know fun. Oh, I bought this, but, you know, like, Sports Friends was worth it. Yeah, I got it free, but it was worth it buying it, because I was able to play when, with a bunch of my friends, uh, Joust, and some of the other stuff, but mostly Joust. Just happened to be timing better to buy it. Race the Sun is pretty good, Counter Spy is awesome, and all that. And, you know, at the same time that E3 is going on, the Steam sale is going on. So that's just even more insane. There's all these Steam games to check out. And there's still bundles happening. And it's just... really a good time to be in, into gaming. A whole bunch of stuff. Because of the... What was that? 
The Squeenix, yeah, Squeenix made uh, Hitman go. I think. Um, it's. I played Hitman Go on my. I had it from a bundle, but I never played it. But because they did that and it sounded and looked interesting, I went ahead and put that on my tablet earlier and looked at it. It was pretty neat. Oh, I love Joust so much. The problem is that I played it so much that, and everybody I know hasn't, that. I don't want to be humble bragging or sound egotistical, but it's. I usually just win every time. I still have fun playing it, and I try to not to dominate, so I sit back and hand off and let somebody else play. But it's a fun game to watch, too. It's just so fun. I haven't even tried all the options on the. like the freezing and other options, and I haven't done custom music, really. Or any of that, just don't play it off enough. Have the controllers and everything, just don't play it off enough. And then it's not, unfortunately, working on PC because of some loose tooth issue with Windows, not supporting the way the move controllers work with Bluetooth. That, uh, yeah, I had to take the PS3 last time I played it at the wedding reception because. I'm the only one who had it, and I had the gear and everything set up on my PS3. I wanted to just take a laptop, it'd be much easier, but had a holo monitor and the PS3 and all that. Anyway, yeah, if you haven't played Johann Sebastian Joust, go play it. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's the reason to have move controllers. Unfortunately, it's best played on PS3. So you can have up to seven people. It's just a fun game. We had a convert last time. Somebody was like, "What? what is this? I don't get it. And then came into play and then he didn't leave while we were playing. He just kept playing with us the entire time. He was addicted. So we got a convert in there. Mm. Other people thought it was pretty fun and okay and stuff, but he was really into it. So that was neat. As you wonder whether the ship is still alive, you hear a shout from the quarter deck above. I tried to watch the PlayStation conference on my PS4 and it wouldn't do anything. It was weird. And this morning it started playing it finally. It's like, what? I, I, it was supposed to be a live event, so you were supposed to see it last night while it was happening. And it just wasn't working right. But it was able to replay it this morning. I just watched a YouTube feed last night to see it all. It's not like I missed anything. But I can't imagine going and seeing all those conferences in person. I was exhausted just trying to catch up, all, keep it up with all the news and everything all day. That's awesome. How was that? See it on the big screen in movie theater? That'd be fun. What was it? It was Uncharted, was it? That had the guy just standing there? Uh, like the controller wasn't working or something? That was funny. Here, we're going to show you gameplay. And then he's just standing there for a minute or two. Some technical issues. That's the other thing I liked, that there was a lot more, here's the next game, let's show you, and a lot less, here, let me blather on for ten minutes about this, that, and the other. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was laughing, here at home. Yeah, something happened. But then it worked, and it was pretty awesome to see. Bacardi. Yeah. Yeah, I admit, I have to mute some of those. I can't stand to watch them all in a row. It's like, yeah, I don't care about this bit, I'm just going to mute. Let it happen. I don't have to be there. 
I don't know about live. But must be a different experience with because you were with people. It is easy key. If you go to my Twitch page, it is there. It is linked from there. Yeah. Uh, I'm done with this. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. No Man's Sky is mind blowing. Oh, I so want No Man's Sky. It looks awesome. Just, yeah, here's a, yeah, okay, I, I got a ship. I'm launching. Oh, look, there's a battle in front of me. Let me join in on one side. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to warp out of here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. Oh, my God. Look at all those stars, all those planets to explore. That's going to be awesome. But i got to figure the people who get on first are going to be the ones who get all the discoveries. So that's one where you don't want to wait to buy it, because if you do, you're going to miss out on discoveries, theoretically. They're saying it's big enough that everybody's going to get a piece, but I'm pretty sure people are going to rush to try to discover everything they can as soon as possible. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Swag for your stream. Send out that poster to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I agree with Nintendo needing to go the Sega's route. Yeah, it is, but you know gamers, they'll figure out a way to optimize getting the most discoveries in the shortest amount of time and just farm those. <laughs> but yeah, Nintendo should go Sega's route and just produce games on other consoles. I agree with that sentiment. I think they'd be more successful focusing on their games and less on the hardware. But then again, their cash cow right now is Amiibo, which is weird. So. Yeah, I really didn't see much except for the Super Mario Maker in Nintendo's conference. It was exciting. The new Metroid was blah. What is this thing? I don't get it. That doesn't look like Metroid to me. The uh, Yoshi yarn game looks kind of fun. Interesting, but it also looked like that other one... That somebody else uh, showed yesterday. What was that? Uh, the one with the yarn, yarn character unraveled. Gravel. Unravel, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I understand that too, but I don't know, it just seems like. It would be in their. Although they have done, you know, innovative, disruptive kind of things with hardware. Everybody really just wants them to make the next Star Fox and Metroid and Zelda and all that. Two different Animal Crossing games. That was interesting. One that's just 
like inside the house kind of thing. And then one that's a board game, like Mario Party. That was weird. Why well, release the Metroid games the Alien movies? Hmm. But by the same token, they also don't have to spend all the time, effort, and money and resources on hardware. They can just concentrate on the games. So, there's good and bad at each side. They seem, do seem to get a lot of life out of their platforms. A lot more than expected given the specs, that's for sure. Uh, they also seem to miscalculate a lot, though, when they do that. So. We shall see. Oh, the fact you can start getting early access on Xbox is nice. That's a nice idea. Um, the customizability, customizability of the hardware for the new Xbox controller is interesting. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the um, Bethesda, was it supporting community mods on consoles? That was a big thing. That's pretty big. I like seeing that. I always love mods. I want to use my mods on Don't Starve on my PS4. But I can only use them on Steam, which is... At least they're available there easily and quickly, but I would like to be able to use them on console as well. Uh, oh, Goats Simulator is coming to at least Xbox, I thought. That'll be fun to see that. Not on PC. Such a fun sandbox, silly game. And again, the uh, Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess they can afford to have misses, but... I don't know. It's one of those things where you look at it and you have to say, look, I'm not the target audience for this thing. Like Wii U, I'm... I'm not the person for it. That's just not it's not targeted towards me. I don't want it. I see nothing attractive about it, except one or two games that are exclusive to it that, okay, I'll just miss out on. Just like the Wii was interesting at first, but then you realize that's nah, really just not much there for me. But yeah, I mean, there are game franchises where They've got a huge pool to draw from, and they've got those creators of those things sitting there, which, as long as they keep them and their protégés, should be uh, good for quite a while. And I guess that, you know, that having that cash is why they can take those risks. Why they can develop a DS and a Wii and a Wii U. They've got the money to do it. This cracks me up that a playing card company is that big. I don't necessarily think they're hindering gaming as a whole. I think that... 
their platforms are just so underpowered that um, they age differently than the other consoles. I'll put it that way. I mean, somebody was saying, some one of the commentators was saying it. Um, you know, you put those any Nintendo game on their platforms up on a big screen, and it just doesn't look good <laughs> on a big screen because they're all. That's true too, though. Cordovan, that's a good point. That's a really good point. They're like Squeenix in that regard. They can probably just survive catering to their Japanese audience and not really worrying about the U.S. audience. That's a good point. I didn't really consider that, but yeah. They really can. I think having the third console can be valuable, but I would like to see them actually have something comparable to the current gen. They're kind of off cycle, which I don't mind either because that way they can do something and then the other two will catch up, or they can catch up with what the other two did. So they're not in lockstep with them. I like that aspect of it, but. But but that there's that new not Pokemon game that's a Pokemon game where you do the Pokemon stuff but it's not Pokemon. But I forgot the name of already. Some spirit collecting thing. Like, I, I love what Media Molecule has done, I just don't understand their dreams thing. Is that supposed to be a game, or is it the game is the creation, or... I didn't quite get what that was supposed to be. As the crimson moon falls from the sky, burning, there is a scream of... You hear raised voices screaming about the loss of the airship. I mean, I, I've got a DS and said, hey, Virtual Gip, how's it going? Yeah, you know, I've got the DS and all that stuff. Yeah, and i got my Vita. And I play my Vita more. Whoa. I need to pay attention to my game as well as chat and not one or the other. I'm getting hit pretty hard here. Let's thin down some of this. Get the champion. That's probably for the cause of the, most of the problem. There we go. Yeah, what I really didn't get out of the dreams thing was, is, are you playing that or is that you just doing videos? That, that was the thing, I, I couldn't understand what you were actually doing in there. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, yeah, I know people that are really into one or the other or the other. I kind of just float between whatever is my interest right now, so... I I don't know that I'm going to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake at all, if, if anything, but it sure looked nice. And I like seeing a game that I really enjoyed playing way back when that is updated to look that nice. That was awesome. Yeah. 
I spent so many hours playing Final Fantasy VII in Japanese. It was awesome. I've got it, you know, on the on whatever the was it PlayStation Classics or whatever the thing is that I've got it on my PS3. I played it on well, I could have played it on my uh, what was the thing before Vita? PSP. That's what it was. I played it on my PSP, and I really never went back and played it. Just like I probably won't go back and play the Gears. updated Gears of War 1, even though I really enjoyed that game and played it a lot. But I don't see myself going back and replaying that. Gears 4, maybe. I really did like Gears of War. And there's some other stuff here and there, but... <laughs> Yeah, you know, when I looked at the um, levels they were playing on Super Mario Maker, I thought of Super Meat Boy. Like, oh, that looks like a Super Meat Boy level. <laughs> That's the insanity that Super Meat Boy did. But it's Mario. Yeah, I don't play D&D anymore either. Pretty much DDO and whatever else I'm playing at the moment. Currently I'm playing the stupid monster clicky game on Steam. Quite a lot. I'm trying to see how far I can get. I don't know if everybody saw it the other day, but uh, before they instituted the 10 minute join rule, there was 1,500 people in a game that got to level, I think level 5,000 on that Steam Monster game. I've been up to 22,000 something. It was funny. Having played Cookie Clicker, I'm pretty adept at clicker games, but yeah. What I hate on that stupid Steam monster cookie game is the people who nuke the bosses. We're sitting here with all these raining gold power-ups mining the bosses for money and you have to nuke the thing and ruin it. Oh, that's annoying. Anything going on? No. There was a VOD raid up the other night and I was just too tired to even bother. It's like, oh, I need that and it was a favor group and everything. I was like, I just can't do it tonight. I really want to get on that but can't do it tonight. Um, now let's go over and do House P. Then we'll go over to Evening Star, I think. Yeah, there's oh, so many games I have yet to play or have barely played on Steam that I still have. It's like, yeah, there's all these new, awesome, interesting, different games, and I want to play them all. But even though I'm out of work, there's just not enough time in the day. I almost feel like I had more time when I wasn't when I was still working than I do now. It's kind of amusing. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away. Yeah. I just bought a four pack of the gauntlet. <sighs> Less than fifty percent? That's doing really good. Huh. 
I just want to get everything knocked out for favor. I'm fairly close to the 5k mark. If I can bring my favor up, there we go. Oh, I have a 12 thing to turn in. I'm at 47.38 out of 5,000. So I just need to get those. <laughs> I didn't realize it was WB. I didn't pay attention. I booted it for the cards, but I hadn't actually gotten in and really played it yet. Yeah, we bought the four pack off of one of the bundle sites because it was like $17 for a four pack of Gauntlet and four pack of, pack of DLC. Versus on the Steam sale, it was like $5 for Gauntlet and $5 for the DLC a piece. And the four pack was still like full price and did not contain the DLC. So yeah, it was much better to get on the bundle deal. I need to hook up, hook up controller and give it some time. And hopefully get some other people to play with me. Although I think we're playing Shadow and Online tomorrow night, so it won't be tomorrow night. And back to DDO on Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to play it, but hopefully I'll get some time to give it some a look. Yeah, if you look at my Steam stuff, you can bring my profile up here. See, I have 1,788 games, 555 DLC. I have an 18% average game completion rate with six perfect games and 1,770 achievements. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. So, yeah, 50% would be good for me. I definitely uh, am well below that. Well below. But, you know, all these bundles that come out, I get most of them. So there's a lot of stuff that's just cheap. I get just to check out, see what it is, get the cards. Yeah, if anybody on Steam has cards that they don't want to mess with, feel free to send them over. I've uh, got some more badges to get. More levels to get. Yeah, there's some games in there that really suck and I'll never play again, probably. But there are also some really interesting games that I would not have tried if they weren't part of a bundle, and I just happened to get them as part of it, and then tried them like, oh, this is actually kind of cool, in its own limited way. But there's just so many that I don't spend much time with any partic one particular game, usually. I'm playing, what, two tower defense games right now, and I don't think I'm really playing anything else. So yeah, I have what 85-ish games wish listed. I hesitate to buy them when they're on sale, even when they're on sale, because I know, well, I probably won't spend much time with that game. Do I really need a copy of Borderlands and Borderlands 2 with and Borderlands pre-sequel with all the DLCs on every platform, or can I make do with just 360 and PS3 and PS4? Yep, that's the thing. You don't get much time with each one. You just sort of boot them, play them, see if they're interesting, if they're not, delete them immediately. If they are, you may keep them on for a while, but then you start running into the hard drive space issue. So, I mean, I've got a terabyte hard drive on here as well as the SSD, so I've got some room, but even that fills up. But you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. If you actually look at the stats, you'll see a lot of them are just, I boot them to idle, 
to get the cards and then that's it. I never get back to them and play them. So yeah, in some ways it is just a collection. But it doesn't take any physical space and it's really easy to access if I want to play one of them. Let's get back to my Steam here real quick. So I've got, let's see... I have 62 games installed right now. On here. Including Race the Sun and Rogue Legacy. Yep, I got Crypt of the Necrodancer. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's see... DDO, Letter Quest, Grim's Journey, Mark of the Ninja I still have installed, which I love, Race, Sun, Rogue Legacy, Shadow and Chronicles, Shuffle Book, Cantina, Deluxe VR, Wizard's Lizard. And then I've got some stuff I just haven't uninstalled. Adventures of Tree and some other stuff that I did just for cards. Ancient Plan I've been playing, Beat Hazard's awesome, Binding of Isaac's awesome, Bro Force is fun, Don't Starve, I keep meaning to get back to, Fate and Fate 2 are in there. Fine Sweeper, which is a different take on Minesweeper. Goat Simulator, Gauntlet, Gone Home, Hawk and Hero Siege, How to Survive, Magic 2014, Nig Nidhog, which is awesome, uh, OTTDD, Paper Sorcerer, which I looked had fun with, Paper Please, just install Payday 2 because I got that yesterday. Haven't tried Planetary Annihilation yet, or Risk of Rain, Robocraft, because that looked interesting, I saw that on stream, want to try it, Roll Defense I've been playing, Screen Sheet looks fun, The Shadowrunner Returns and Dragonfall, Sorry You're Being Hunted, I got that on the Steam sale, Small World 2, I got that on the Steam sale, Thief, which I always meant, meant to play, I haven't got back to, Town of Salem, which is fun, Typewriter is interesting, Uncrowded, Wasteland 2, and Ease Origin, and that's just what I have on, on this machine on Steam right now. Yeah, Nidhogg is a blast. Awesome, awesome game. I also have it on the PS4. Next to the security gates, Which is all, actually a little better than the PC because you don't have to have one person on a keyboard and one person on a controller. Or two people on a keyboard. Very fun. Fast-paced sword play game. And it doesn't look like much at all. It looks like almost like Atari 2600 graphics. It's pretty blocky and primitive, but it's so fast-paced and works very well that I can forgive it the uh, odd coding it has wrapped in, covering, whatever you want to call it. And your goal is to be eaten by the Nidhogg, which is bizarre. Yeah, I've been playing my Rogue Legacy on PS4. I played a little bit on Vita. On Vita, I've been mostly playing Isaac and Don't Starve. But I've got you know all those plus games sitting there waiting to be played and tried at least. Another stuff I bought. Just, yeah, there's an abundance of games. Oh, I still have that on. I shouldn't have that on. I should have that on. Oops. So I have my feather fall ring on. You finally reached the House Fjarlin Grand Gala. Now to find the guest list. And to a certain extent, I am a collector, so I like knowing that, hey, I have that if I want to play it at any time. I know it's there, easy to do. I used to have, I don't know, 500 plus Xbox 360 games. That's back when I was into gamer score and all that. So I would buy all these crappy games that I really didn't want to play, but they had gamer score on them, so I wanted to get it for the gamer score. Yeah, I'm glad to be over that now. Just took up too much room and was expensive and annoying to try to keep up with. But I have a Steam library where I can store all that stuff. Don't have to worry about space for it and all that. At one point I had a uh, Atari Lynx collection. I had 
I don't know, half dozen systems and a bunch of games, including some of the more rare ones and all that. I still have my original links that I bought way back when with my original games that I had on it. And then one day I was like, you know what? I don't need this anymore. I put it all back up on eBay and let it go. It kind of hurt because I get, didn't get nearly as much as I spent on it, but oh well. It was fun. But I tend to do that. I get into something and I get into it deep. I'm a collector, so I want everything. And then it passes and I'm on to something else. It's like, why do I have all this stuff again? Yeah. That's why it's so much better to have all digital stuff. You don't have to worry about storing it. So if I buy a couple $1 games or a pack of 12 games for 2 to $3, what does it matter? You know? Yeah. It's a very fine distinction between collector and hoarder. I mean, I'll agree with that. To me, the difference is I'm into one thing at a time, usually, and then I'm okay to give it up afterwards. I don't need to collect all of everything at the same time. Well, maybe just not one thing, but I'm into a few things at a time, and then I'm okay with not getting that. Yeah, at one time I had a bunch of other stuff. I had my NES, I had my Dreamcast, I had my PS1s through two or three at the time, I don't remember exactly when I got rid of that stuff, the PSP. The SLI between us had a bunch of different Game Boy systems. Um, I actually bought the import uh, Dance Dance Revolution for Game Boy Color, which had a dance pad you put over the uh, controls. So you could. Oh, what did I do? I did something weird. What did I do? Oh, I hit that. That's what I did. Okay. Back on track. But yeah, anymore. Not doing that stuff. Where's the jerk? Here, I need to get the jerk out of the way. Well, you're a jerk. That's why I need to get the jerk out of the way. Because of that stupid crap. If I can take him out, this fight isn't very hard. But until I take him out, I gotta be careful, because if he dances me, I have issues. There we go. Now everybody's in the fray. I was never big on Sega myself. I I know the SO had a game gear. I know my friends had a master system. I know people who had the whole collection and stuff, but I never have really got into Sega stuff. That's why I was really happy when they went out of hardware. I mean I had the Dreamcast, but other than that I really wasn't into the Sega stuff. Personally, what was that um, PlayStation One memory card that you could play games on? What was that thing called? I never had one, but I really wanted one for a while. I have a DDR arcade cabinet that takes PlayStation 1 memory cards. Still. I have that sitting in the other room here. I don't even know if I have any PlayStation 1 memory cards left. But that was the big thing about that particular machine was had the memory cards to actually customize your steps on different songs. I 
What I really want to do is convert my uh, other the sounds and smells of the DDR machine into a uh, in the groove machine. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few or questions in a public place. Get a. Um, I can't remember the top of my head now. The Andamiro dance machines. Get one of those. Or even better, get the one machine that where you use your legs and your hands. I used to be big into the rhythm games. And that's how the SOA and I met. I actually was playing DD, uh, DDR. So that's why we have the machines. Oh, I can't believe the name's not coming to me. I can see the screens, I can see even remember Beethoven's Virus and Magic Monkey and some of the other songs, and I just cannot remember the name of the freaking system. Pocket Station, yes! Pocket Station! Those were cool. Unfortunately, those didn't see very wide adoption. But yeah, I've imported so many games. Once you realize, or once at the time you realize that you can pay this service to bid on Japanese auctions on Yahoo auctions and stuff, and that the Japanese in general take really good care of their games and game systems, oh man, it's dangerous. As you turn the valve, but it's hard to get that stuff anywhere else, or at least it was at the time. So I imported the DDR DX pads, I imported the Beatmania DX controls, imported uh, Pop and Music Controller, and all the games, of course, for all that stuff. At one time, I owned a uh, Dance Maniacs machine, which is the one you use your arms on. And a beat bane machine, a DDR machine. But I sold all that stuff off. And I actually had a. Uh, I can't even remember the shooting game now. Cutesy little shooting game. Guns. Gun game. And some other stuff. I've been through quite a few arcade machines and such. Still don't own the best pinball machine ever, which is Adam Stanley Pinball. At some point, I hope to get one of those. Be yeah, all that crazy stuff. It's easy to get into and get lost in if you get into the, down those holes. Oh, this exists! I don't have it yet. I must have it. Um, yeah, I had it. My friend of mine gave me Res, the full kit for Res. No, not Time Crisis. It, it was a very cutesy shooter. Um, same concept, just something else. Sorcerer, huh? Yeah. I really like, uh, let's see, Ride the Comet. So it's Cyclone and Adam's Healing Pinball and then um, Twilight Zone Pinball and Hurricane was the one with the fan and the three rotating platforms in the middle of the play field, I think. Those are the ones I really, really enjoy. The Street Fighter one was awesome too, with you getting in the bottom middle and destroying the car. That was neat. There's some other ones that were fun, but those are the main ones. Your pursuit has led you out of Tanner's alley and into a quieter, more whirlwind. Yeah, love whirlwind. In the sunshine below, if you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs lie.
Adam's Family Pinball is coming to which version of Pinball FX2? Was it the PS4 one? Can't remember. There's a Kickstarter for it, and it was announced that it's coming out. So, happy to have that available. At least in digital form, if not physical. Because, yeah, once you get in arcade machines, you realize how little room you have in your house. Pinball Wizard Arcade. Boston area. Now, I saw a position in Boston. Unfortunately, it was telecommute, but you must live in Boston, which I don't understand. It's like, oh, hey, telecommuting job that's right up my alley. Boston, okay, whatever. Oh, you have to be, live in Boston, but you can telecommute every day. What? Okay. So. We're not going to get that. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the SNO oh, and I, when we, went, we would go on trips, that was what we used to do. We used to go to find all the DDR machines in the town we were in. It was a big place. Or like when we was mom in Florida, we'd go up to Miami and down to wherever and find all the places with DDR machines and play there. Or rhythm games in general. It didn't have to be DDR specifically. But that was just where mostly what we saw. There's an arcade here that um, I haven't been to in a while, but it's one of those all you can play, you pay your money, and then you, you play all you want. And then there just opened a place called the 16 bit bar, which, as long as you drink, you can keep playing games for free. Or something like that. I didn't quite understand it, what the deal was, but they said if you're drinking, you play games for free, so. Okay, that sounds good. Haven't tried that yet, but hope to fairly soon. I miss arcades. Uh, anything else I want to do here? I don't think so. Anything up in LFMs? No. Let's go back, rebuff, repair, and then get it over to Evening Star. So yeah, I'm hoping to have some more stuff. Really should see what our kids what our kids doing now. Last time I went, their selection was really funky. They didn't have too much, and they had a mix of classics and newer stuff, but none of it really appealed. I think the last arcade I was in was a Chuck E. Cheese for some friend's kid's birthday party, and that just didn't go well. It, actually, there were hardly anything that wasn't redemption, so it was really hard to do much. Uh, oh, there's anything I got though on a bank. Do you want to grab my things? Oh, here we go. So I look forward to an adult arcade to figure out what's going on there. Hey, Mari, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Mmm, that sounds awesome. Man, that sounds awesome. Definitely have to go to Pinball Wizard if I'm ever out there again. I actually have friends that live in town that go out there once a year or so to visit friends and family and such. So, yeah, I have to ask them about that. I think the last time I was at, uh, not Jillian's, but the other one. 
the Haven Busters was quite a while ago. The one here was under construction last time I was in it. I think they're done. I mean, we should go back and check it out. But they had the same problem where they're pretty redemption focused. Oh, I had a Street Fighter 2 machine for a while that I got for free that I sold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's funny now that, you know, a lot of the games that used to be in arcades are now available in different collections on different platforms. And you look at it like, why would I pay $5 for that game? Oh, I probably put ten times that in quarters in the arcade when I played it in the arcade. But for some reason, just seeing it all at once there gives a gut reaction that that's expensive. But it's unlimited plays. That's a big difference. I actually lost the key to one of my DR machines. I need to find it. Get a new one to replace the lock or something. We let the rats out to play. They can get in there and I don't want them chewing up my DDR machine. That would not be fun. It's already a pain to find the uh, replacement parts for it, let alone like um, just bolts and screws and stuff. And of course light kits and pads. The wear parts. And the spacers are really what wear the most. Those pads. Pump it up. That's the other one. I was trying to think of earlier. That's one of the ones I was trying to think of earlier. Pump it up. <laughs> the SO used to be one of the uh, Chuck E. Cheese repair techs. So. Can fix the stuff. And all that. I find it's fun once in a while, like especially if you have like family gatherings and stuff. Okay, let's get on the DR machine or let's play some Street Fighter or whatever you have. You know, that's neat, but it otherwise it just sits there and you don't use it much. So you have this huge object that's really heavy and awkward to move and all that that sits around off most of the time and then once in a while it gets played. I've thought about building like a main cabinet before, but yeah. that doesn't appeal either. That's why I kickstarted the uh, Piecade. So I have a small tabletop arcade machine that runs on Raspberry Pi, or you can throw something else in there. Right now, I've got a Pi in it, but I probably at one point want to put a better uh, PC in there to really give it the power to play almost anything. And uh, that's why I got that, because, you know, I can play a bunch of different games on it, and it's smaller, it's easier to take care of, and such. Although Pies have their own problems with, if the power goes out, you have to reformat the SD card. Damage! Yeah, it's uh, shocking going to my other characters after playing Shaw for a while because they don't do nearly as much damage. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's wrong here? Why am I doing much damage? Oh, that's right. Because this is a rogue assassin, or this is a bard, or this is a something else, and it just doesn't do as much damage as this. I really min-maxed this time, too, when I re-rolled. For my Evergreen Incarnation, I uh, went pure strength and con. 
Nothing else, I don't think. Or there was a point or two in something else, maybe, but. Yeah. You know what? I just want to be survivable and have good damage. <laughs> yeah, Cordova, thanks. It was fun chat. See you next time. I'll probably see you on stream tomorrow, because I'll probably hop in and watch, if nothing else. Games, games, games. Oh, that, oh, what was the time on that? 4.14, that's a pretty good time. Pretty good time indeed. to here. Uh, not murder by night. Er. I need to redo Murder by Night just to get it off the list so it doesn't pop up every time I try to do Outbreak. It's really annoying. Games, 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 games! And then there's DDO, which, you know, being an MMO takes up a lot of time. I keep seeing, like, you know, I really should go back and finish Oblivion, but I've got DDO. I really should play Skyrim, but I've got DDO. I'm gonna go back and play Fallout, but I've got DDO. Just, uh, yeah. Hey, Gemini, how's it going? We're doing well this evening. This wizard has taken ill just like the other patients. The magical might is not keeping track of all the E3 hype. This corpse contains some of the sample the head priests take up. Nearby, the key of the world and the world is flowing. I'm not bad. Between the Steam sale and the uh, E3 thing going on, there's just uh, so many games I want to play and want to buy and all that stuff. But then there's just DDO. Yeah, and it looks beautiful. That FF7 remake just looks so awesome. I don't know that I'll play it, but it sure was a huge makeover. It's really, really just a couple highlights for me. The Super Mario Maker looks awesome, and No Man's Sky looks awesome. A couple other things, but in all, it's just there's so many cool-looking games coming out. That's the main thing. 
the main takeaway from E3 is there's so many cool games coming out. Most of which I probably won't play. Unfortunately. The new Assassin's Creed looks awesome. What I really want them to do is come out with a PS4 Assassin's Creed collection. So I can just play them all back to back on there because I never finished one and because I never finished one I never played any other ones. There's so many games to play, but I never finished the plot of the first one. And I don't want to just read the plot, I want to see it, actually watch it. <laughs> a rock called DDO. Yeah, it's hard when you're playing an MMO that you can sink just so much time into to really get out of that and play something else. Especially if it's something like you know Oblivion or Skyrim or Fallout. You know, one of those things that's going to take you a couple hundred hours. It's like, well, I could spend those couple hundred hours in DDO. Or I could spend it over here in this other game, and well, I'm playing DDO anyway. So let's go DDO. Yeah, I don't even know. There's so many games. Like I was saying earlier, I have like almost 1,800 games on Steam, and I couldn't tell you about most of them. And I keep buying more. That said, I do a lot of bundles, so I get a lot of games cheap, so it's not like I'm paying a lot for them. Um, and I like playing different games, you know, since I do have DDO as my... Yeah, exactly. What, what I find is, you know, I'm playing DDO as my primary game, right? Let's just say that right up front. I'm playing DDO as my primary game. It is my primary game. That is what I'm playing, mostly. But, that said, sometimes I want to break, so actually the Steam Sale Clicker game is kind of fun. Something different, and you can just spend two minutes on it every hour or four, and you're, you're good for the day. But, I've been playing a lot of games that you can, you can just dip in and play five, ten minutes of, or if you get into it, you can play for an hour or more. I've been, for some reason, I've been really into the hidden object games lately. I can play them on my tablet, I can play them on Steam, and it's just something different than DDO. Or I'll play a tower defense game. I've got three tower defense games, three or four tower defense games installed right now that I can play at any time. Just, hey, you know, I'll play a level or two in this tower defense game. That's something different. Or I'll play Rogue Legacy or Mark of the Ninja, or Shuffle Puck Cantina, or, you know, just something different. Just to, you know, play something different here and there throughout the day, or... Hey, I'm on lunch break, I only have a couple minutes, I don't really feel like getting caught into a DD, oh, but one more quest kind of thing, or... Something like that, I'll, you know, I may log into DD, organize my gear or something. I don't usually play much until the evening when I actually have blocks of time where I can devote to it. That's where I find to play a lot of the games. The other ones I just boot for the cards and call it done. Oh, I actually have to destroy that. Hello brain, start working. So yeah, I sympathize with that. So I've got a huge backlog of stuff I want to play. And then I've got stuff on the PS4. I technically have stuff on the 360 that I probably won't play. But it's there. 
Entire other platforms of games are saying they're neglected. My Vita, I keep wanting to play Isaac, and I play Isaac for like maybe a half hour right before bed, and then I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should play some more Isaac today, and then I don't get to it until bedtime, and then I play it for a little bit, and I'm done. It's just hard to devote time to anything else when you're in an MMO. In, really into an MMO. And then I still have Shadowrun Chronicles to play, Shadowrun Online, whatever you want to call it. Which I think I'm playing tomorrow with a friend of mine. I'm trying to keep moving through the story there, at least get through the story before it fails. Um, so yeah. And there's all the real life stuff to do, and the dog to walk and take care of, and the cats and the rats. And, uh, not enough time in the day or week or year or month or whatever to do everything. I specifically didn't play DDO much yesterday or this anytime today because I was like, you know what, I'm going to stream it. I'm going to have a nice long stream, and that's where I'm going to play my DDO. I'm not going to play anything, play that until it's time. I don't want to get burnt out after an hour on stream. Like, oh, there you go, guys. I'm done now. I don't want to do that. I want to have a decent stream. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are DDO, but Wednesday we're going to play anything else. <laughs> I like that idea. Whatever day you pick, just something different. I've streamed a couple little things from PS4, and, like Rollers of the Realm, and... I don't know if I did Rogue Legacy or not, but I did uh, Race the Sun, some, and Counter Spy. And these are games I enjoy. Here, watch me play them. And it just, you know, something different. Hey Titan, what's up? So, yeah. I know there's a, a lot of streamers seem to get trapped into playing one game because that's what their audience is. You have that whole, okay, this is my income thing, then you have that problem where, well, people expect to see this game, and if I don't stream that game, I don't gonna do much in the way of new subscriptions and stuff, so. He's working on U26 release notes, that's what he said mostly. We talked about games and E3 and other stuff, but. As far as DDO, he pretty much just said he's working on the U26 release notes. But, you know, as long as you stream regularly, I don't think you're... Yeah, I mean, that, that's what, kind of what I'm saying. You get stuck in that, okay, this is where I came from, but is that what I want to do all day, every day for the rest of my life? Eh. There's other games out there. There's a whole lot of other games to pick from. Uh, what I was thinking of something that's like that is like, okay, you know, if I started streaming more regularly, one of those days is going to be whatever the heck I feel like. Or the other thing you could do is say, you know, I'm, every week I'm going to stream a different game. There you go. Every week, something new. Oh, God, not Minecraft. I thought about it really briefly because a lot of people watch Minecraft. People play Minecraft and all that, but it just doesn't do anything for me at all. If they had a skin that was modern graphics, then I might think about it. Yeah, that ugly retro skin stuff. I just nope. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you look at the top games that are streaming, you know, League of Legends, Dota, all that stuff, a lot of those interest me. The games that interest me are the ones I want to play and the ones I want to stream. Not, I don't want to stream just because something's popular, I guess is what I'm saying. Although I understand that can be a way to make a living. It's just not, it uh, doesn't appeal to me. Yep, DDO is where it's at. As far as playing, streaming, you know. I've pretty much been soloing so far. Um, I guess I could play a different character if you wanted to group. Um, you have everything in mind specifically? Hey Stos, and welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I know I've seen you streaming DDO a couple times. Oh, oh wow, I thought I was at the second part, not the first part. Wow. Yep. I try to check out everybody who streams DDO and just to say what's going on, say hi. I'm not getting the uh, list for some reason in my IRC client, so I can't see who's all on the moment, but usually most people that's in the channel are uh, pretty well primarily play DDO. Play other stuff too, but primarily DDO. And a lot of us stream DDO on here and our own channels as well. So. Hey! I'll look up names here in a second when I can actually do that. Alright. Savion de Marion and Zedric Jen, hello. Welcome to the stream, how you doing? Hope you're doing well this evening. I can uh, see. Do I still have that link up? Nope, that's the wrong link. That's the wrong information. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's. Let's other wood wood, and then I'll find that link for you. Answer most of your questions, probably. So, yeah. Here's information about my characters and such. Uh, let's see. I just epic reincarnated over the weekend. And that's my first... Arcane, so this should be Life 12 Epic. Still first heroic life. And this is Simorgu, and I am playing on a Asus gaming laptop with an NVIDIA GPU. I have effects, post-processing effects turned off right now because I was doing black lock earlier. I suppose I can turn this on. Back on, but meh. Let's see. I'll go ahead and do that real quick just for the final boss fight here. That should make at least the water look better. A couple other things will look better too. That's the secret to the black lock. If it lags for you and it lags on almost everybody, just turn your post processing effects off. Also works for Shadowfell, Purple Haze, and what goes up and such like that. Much easier to see. 
sometimes if you turn the post processing off. But you, you have no place in my forest. You will die to feed my flowers. He it to me. It's easy enough to toggle on and off when you need it. I hate being slowed. Of all the things that can happen, slowed is almost the worst. Yeah, this game really doesn't need much power to run. To look pretty, yeah, it can use some power to look pretty, but just to run, eh. It does pretty well. 648 could be faster. Uh, yeah, I thought it was on my page after we talked about it a week or two ago when everybody was wondering about the Blackbird skin I use. I thought I put it up on that page. To make it easier to find for people. Scroll down, it should be there somewhere. I'm going to reorganize it at some point, but uh, yeah, it's under tools. One, two, three, four, five, six, one down. Surprisingly long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. You can yeah, see I thought it was the well water is fed by a fetid underground stream. The source of the poisoned water lies above and beyond this waterfall. You will need to find a way up in order to follow it. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A yuan -ti priestess has raised a magical barrier, preventing you from passing further. yuan -ti appear, emerging from impossibly tight fences of the world. having fun yet. Hmm. The magical barrier blocking your way dissipates. 
Not much else to say at this point. We had to make sure we were up and out early. Dog needed his uh, shots. So we went and did that. I've been sleeping in later. Of course, I've been staying up later because the SO doesn't get home until later now. Kind of wind down together. In the evenings, they get home 11 ish, spend an hour winding down. Yeah, it can be late before we actually get to sleep. It should be interesting once I get a new job. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Because I'm used to being up at 6. Rolling into the home office, logging on, and get my day started right away. And they don't start work until well noon because they're in overtime mode, but you find yet supposedly two in the afternoon. Right I don't understand that mandatory overtime thing. Hire more people if that's what you need. Should be should be mandatory to do mandatory overtime for months at a time. Maybe a week or two. Okay, I can see it, but I should be able to hire more people and fill in that. Yep. Yep. We're right out of college. I had a job for two days, or a day and a half, really. And I didn't have a job for several months. And, uh, yeah, that was not fun. Yeah, I, I understand that, but I mean, long term. An acrid, sickly scent assails you. I'm all about not water must be close. working. Over 40 if I can avoid it. I like being efficient and good and do my piece and get out of there and be done with it. I had a friend who worked at a Honda factory, I think, doing brake hoses or something. And he got hired and it was mandatory every time as soon as he got hired. Okay. I think he also worked at uh, like a medical refrigeration unit place, and it was the same thing. As soon as he got hired, mandatory overtime. Come on. And it had been mandatory overtime, it was going to be mandatory overtime for months in each direction. It seems like poor planning to me. Oh, acid. Interrupting me over my chests. How I hate you. And that not let me recall either. Both my other friends who were out of jobs got jobs just recently, like in the past week. So, hope that's a good sign. I'll be getting my job here shortly. Uh, let's see, what else is there to do? Just the normal XP run stuff, which somebody's in. Spies already. Do they have. 
They have no rogue, though. Put it in the right folder, and then... Uh, I don't know if you have to reboot DDO and then select it from the UI tab or something like that. There should be instructions somewhere on one of those sites in the link. It's a minor dog. Better puppy. He's sitting up beside me on the couch, taking a nap. Just got restless and moved though. Puppy. Hi, puppy. You want some attention? Is that the problem? Yeah, let me give you a little bit of attention. There you go. Okay, I'm done. Attention given. <laughs> so one of my, the dog's friends might com be coming over for visit, extended visits here in the near future. Silver, that's good. Greater. Might as well do double assault. Let's get that over with first. Oh, hey, somebody's there. Bacon saber. Nice. Did I not hit him? There we go. Bacon saber. in yet? Nope, they're not in. They're about ready to go. Just getting some buffs. Yeah, you enjoying my attention there, puppy? You enjoying my attention? No, not like that. Oops, that's the wrong menu option. Uh, let's see, menu, options, UI settings, it's all at the bottom. Yeah, user skin backward. Yeah, right there, immediately when you click the link, it gives you the ins exact directions on how to install. Botch up, bacon saver, bu -bu 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 bubbies. Moving right along here to my next level. Let's see. 700k. Yeah, it won't take too long to get that. The only things I really haven't run today are Vaughn 3 and Spies, Wiz King. Knock those out after this. Probably just do run one run of each.
I don't know why you're looking at me like that, puppy. What? Dogs that are like, do something, dude. Don't just sit there and talk to nobody. Play with me. Do something. Take me for a walk. So the vet was saying uh, that he's the perfect weight. Wondering how often we out take him out to run maybe once a week take him to the dog park normally we just take him on well I take him on like oh five six eight walks a day I don't know about every two hours usually Make sure he doesn't eat, overeat. And uh, that works. We have a tracker for him that counts his steps kind of thing. Active time. Kind of like a Fitbit for dogs. It's called Whistle. That was asking about that too. Endless Slayers and King's Forest is up. Yay. Still don't see a rogue already in that spies group, so that's good. Oh. Means I made the right choice. Guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the air. Guttural chanting echoes from beyond the door ahead. Yeah. There's usually a decent number of LFMs up in the epic levels. Just, uh, actually it's pretty varied at the moment. A lot of times you'll see just the same couple things. Normal. Epic XP runs. And not much else. But I did see a Vision Destruction the other day. I wanted to join, I was just too out of it to do a new to me raid. Especially trying to find my way, they had already started. It's like, yeah, I just don't feel like trying to find that right now. It's too late. But I need to get that done for favor. A couple other things. Over the weekend it was awesome because there was all kinds of groups up for all kinds of stuff because of the XP bonuses. It was good. Didn't have, have any problem finding groups for the stuff I wanted to run. Or I could sell the rest, but like Wiz King is much better to have a group to get it done. At least one person per tower makes that so much easier. Got a shroud up. House D Favor Run, Devil's Hold that I'm in, Eternal King's Forest, Avon, Spies, and High Road. Not bad. Usually there's a giant hold or two up, and haven't seen as many Necros lately. Orchards. There's been some, but not as many when I've been on.
and usually there's a Lorge of Dust or something in that area. Haven't seen many of those lately either. Grad's tight and you follow directions. Yeah, I really don't remember seeing you in epics much when I was watching, so I didn't get a feel for the epic ones. Alright, Gemini. Have a good stream tonight. I'll probably head over there after this. As per usual. Thanks for stopping by. Interesting. Just four. And occasionally, of course, I'll see zero, but usually there's a couple to choose from. That's more than what it's usually like, about one screen full. And then as people get out of those, you'll see a bunch more popping out depending on what they want to do. Usually they split into different things. There'll be another couple come up. Just not uh, awake today. Yay, third wave done already. Seems so much faster with the group. I mean, it's not any more difficult than it is solo, really. It's just you kill things much faster in a group. You kill everything much faster, let's put it that way. So after this, if there's whisking up, we'll go to whisking. If not, we'll just run spies and call it good. Now we're down to three. Tokens. How am I on tokens? Well, I think I'm good on tokens for the moment. I should take the ones I get. I don't really need to ask for more, I don't think, at the moment. Five hundred and twenty some, that'll last me a while. Considering that I haven't hero recarnated at all yet. I am thinking of making more gifts to the Master, though. Is that what it's called? Master's Gift.
Yeah, I think I'm going to run spies and then take a break. That's probably the better way to do it. It's already been two hours? Wow. That's amazing. What, puppy? Am I giving you enough attention? Is that the problem? You're yawning more than I am, dude. I don't know why. You and I haven't done much today. Just that run and then a couple walks. I am not party leader. I'm in Bacon Savers, uh... DA group. So the LFM's still up. You can come pike. Actually, I might take a break after this anyway. You feel the battle may allow you a moment's rest and time to loot the bodies. It's been over two hours since I started. There's another, what, 10 minutes at least left on this. Need to get up, walk around a little bit, get the blood flowing again. Refresh my water, take the dog for a walk. I'll take a 5 to 10 minute break after I'm done with this quest. Probably more like 10 minutes. Probably not like 5. We'll say 10-ish minutes. But that won't be for another, what, 10-15 minutes? I don't remember how long the last two waves are. Let's see, we have... Two minutes between, so that's four minutes there. The waves are about five minutes apiece ish. So, yeah. Probably about 15 minutes from now, I'll take a 10 minute break. I know, puppy, you want to go out. We gotta wait. Hopefully, it's not raining when we go out. Because you don't like the rain any more than I do. Yeah, because it hasn't been updated in, what, four years? Something like that. I suppose I could collect my things there. I've got so many extra shards. Yeah, I have an extra shard of power there. I thought I had an extra great shard too. I'll pass shards to somebody. And just in case you missed earlier, I have a message for anybody who's playing the uh, Steam Monster Clicker game for the sale. Stop nuking the bosses so we can milk them for all the gold we can. Guys, kill the bosses instinct with the nukes. We can't get all the extra bonus gold. Get the seller upgrades. Makes everything go faster. Please. Think of the gold and the upgrades. Don't nuke bosses. It's really frustrating. You can't really easily communicate with everybody who's playing. Oh, what do you want, cat? I'm not taking you outside. Ain't no way, kitty. Come on. Yes, can you not mark my mouse hand, please? Really distracting. Oh. 
Which one again? A little bit of attention. I can give you a little bit of attention. Oh, you're done already? Alright. That was fun. See you soon. Wasn't Moosey doing finals? Last I heard, Moosey was studying for finals so as to not fail. Got one of the jerks. I keep thinking about going back to school, but then I realize I hate school. Why would I want to go back there? Do stuff. Yeah, yeah, masters, yeah, yeah, doctorate, but... Is it worth the effort? Although I have been seeing job postings that need, that say we want you to have a masters or a doctorate in whatever. So... I guess technically it could help. Yes, puppy, I know. Just a minute. Give me like a couple minutes. We'll go. Yay, leader. Yes, we're done with this phase already. fed you, cat. I don't know why you're being so whiny like you haven't been fed. Because I know you did. Your bowl was empty. For the XP, this is worth. Yep, losing pet sucks. I lost two in this past year. It was difficult for both. Our first rat and my oldest cat. Yes, we can stone skin. And uh, a little bit of song. And then where is my flash telling me that this is ready for rain? There it is. Do rain. 
And away we go. The thing about replacing a pet is that they're not the same. I really miss my cat and my rat. We have other rats, they're not the same. We have other cats, they're not the same. Combat there, lag there. Yay, boss. Means we almost done. Take the loot, get back to the ship, or take the drop group, get back to the ship, and then take a 10-ish minute break is the plan here. So, a couple more swings done. The assault has been quelled for now. Uh, Nothing good there, nothing good there.
Nothing good there. Small double scales on a token. Shavara sulfur stones and token. Awesome. Got my loot. Leave the party. Get back to ship. I'll go ahead and put my self promo up at the moment. And then my go on a break, I'll be on the other scene with the away. BRB sign up. Just to embed this part into the video. Oh my god, dog, your bones on the floor are so loud. Please stop. Yes, we're going to go in just like another minute or two, dog. We'll be going outside. Let me repair and sell. And then we'll, yep, just a minute, dog. I see you. I do see you. Let's see. Spiritcraft, adamantine, flame touched, silver, crater. Alright, we should be good there. Okay, so let me switch the scene back. DDO, turn my BRB sign on. There we go. Stay tuned. We'll be back in 10 ish minutes with uh, more DDO action. Thanks for watching. This is Scene Morgu on DDO Stream.
And we are back. Take the brake sign off. Alrighty. So, welcome back. What were we going to do next? We were going to do... Oh yes, we were going to do spies. Spies in the house. And I think I'll skip Whiz King today. Unless there's an elephant up after spies. invite out there for you if you want a group. Otherwise, I'm going to solo it. I didn't mark my time when I left, so I don't know how long my break was. But, back now. Ready to go. A little bit invigorated. Dog was being, uh, yeah. So evidently, the old retired couple across the street uh, has grandkids visiting. You can get down now. Dog. Thank you. And uh, so there's kids out in their backyard, which is directly across the street from us. And he's like, oh, kids, I want to play. And wouldn't settle down. So it was an interesting bit of walk. I hate getting cripple shot and hamstrung, whatever. On this one, makes it really annoying to make your jumps when you're moving that slow. And I had a bend bounce. Interesting. Where am I? Well, at least it wasn't all the way down. Don't know why that happened sometimes. Thought I was in the right direction and everything. There we go. Sometimes physics goes haywire. I should come back here and sing my song. I'm waiting for this guy to come up and get killed. I come get killed. Hello. I oh, resisted my trip. What a jerk. to open stuff. That doesn't do anybody any good. Let's go ahead and put that on. Equip that. Wield that. Technically it's not equipping, it's wielding. Oop, 
boo, boo. Now we can use the axe to kill these jerks. I don't feel like killing you guys or you guys. Ah. Excuse me. I was really doing the uh, everything over the weekend because all that bonus st stacks up pretty nice, but. And now I was in here with multiple people so I could take a little extra time to do things and they'd keep clearing, so it wasn't a big deal. When I'm so long, I tend to skip some things. Just to make it faster. Need to go remember where I was farming stuff from and do some more farming runs. I didn't want to do farming runs while the XP bonus was going because it seems silly to waste the bonus on that stuff. See if I can get this. Nope. No love at all. That's unfortunate. Hey guys, there's somebody here. How about that? Oh, you're here too. How about that? I will have her get these since these are easy to get. I should totally TR Shaw into a thrower, but that would be awesome. Can't quite see what you're doing, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Uh, that's why I don't have deflect arrows anymore. So when I respect this time, I didn't take deflect arrows because that has a dexterity requirement, maybe? Something. And I went full on strength and con this time, just for something different. So my other stats are pretty low in comparison. Normally I balance it out a bit more just to help for saves and skills and stuff in case of draining and all that, but this time I decided, you know, I just want to do something different this time. Let's go full min-max kind of stuff. I mean, the tomes help, of course. I think I've got all fours on almost everything, something like that. Pulled another plus four tome the other day, over the weekend, I think it was. It's a three to four upgrade tome. And I like that true plus four tome I got the other week. That was awesome. I still have that in the bank. I haven't decided where to use that yet. Sit down. Leave me alone. I'm finding that deflect arrows is really handy. Now that I don't have it, I kind of want it back. It's really nice to miss a lot of those arrow shots. Be missed by, I should say, a lot of those arrow shots. Hey, legendary victory. That's nice. A little bonus addition. And I remembered, oh, you stupid jerk. Where my feather fall this time? Uh, let's do that. Just absorb some of it. Good 
good. I can put this ring on and not worry about the electricity at all. And back to this one. Played Ranger on my Arcane Archer Ranger on uh, Friday with Cordovan. That was fun. I do. I am enjoying the range character thing. That's why I'm thinking thrower build would be fun. Obviously, I already have an Arcane Archer going on at the moment. Anytime you want to go over here, so I can kill you. Be cool with me. Anytime at all. Starting now, then, anywhere, anytime. There we go. No? Ah, uh, there we go. In the face. Love it. That's why I love hanging out here, because usually they get close enough and the jets go and they right in your face and it's easy to kill them. Quickest way I've found, anyway, to get, get them as a melee. You can try to dance along everything, or jump, and all that stuff, but what really works the best that I've found is this. Well, until you do that, that doesn't work very well. Alright, let's see if we get the bonus jump, or just the regular one. Nope, just the regular one. Unfortunate. I really prefer to have that uh, jump all the way to the top there. It's much easier. Oh well. We'll make a run. Get these last couple boxes. And then up the ladder. Kill a couple more sets of guys and we'll be done. Now we'll frown that I don't have the 30% more XP like I did over the weekend. Which was tasty. So much nicer getting the big numbers. Especially on like Vaughn 5, this, and Wiz King. Just really great numbers. Oh, I haven't done Vaughn 3 yet. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll do Vaughn 3. I am going to have to check my text messages slash emails, whatever came in just now. Well, he got here faster than I thought he would. I had a couple seconds to wait, but no, nope, he came right through. Alright, so 15 breakables. 16 breakables for 8%. That's all I'm going to get. I'll try for the other two, but I know it's not going to be enough because there's three or four I missed near the optional chest. Yeah. Not quite enough for the extra bonus. Still, 70k in under 13 minutes isn't bad. I'll take it. Check my messages while we're recalling. Ha! Somebody gifted me some uh, something on Steam. That's always fun. Gifts are fun. I just got the Dino D Day DLC, which I just added to my wish list today because it was. I was thinking about buying it anyway because it was cheap, really cheap. And uh, why am I going this way if I'm going to 
should just go over here for Vaughn. Vaughn, 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 Vaughn. Do some Vaughn in, some Vaughnage. Vaughnamundo, Vaughnarini. Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn. Actually, you know, I probably can just do this. I don't think there's anywhere in actual Vaughn 3 that I need to worry about. So. Running through these guys should be fine. Hope this shouldn't be a problem. Might sneeze here. Excuse me. Man. No, I wasn't yelling at dog. I was sneezing. Just kind of like you do. So I found out today from the vet that dogs do a thing they call reverse sneeze. Usually having to do with excitement or allergies. No. Get down. Get down. Thank you. Thank you, puppy. Uh, yeah, I muted, but uh, event light came through. This is dinky. Hello, welcome. Thanks for stopping by and watching all that fun stuff. Just tearing apart some Vaughn right now. Oh, I forgot to check if there was a... Nope, there wasn't a Wes King Grip. Didn't think there would be. Oh. Yeah, fairly loud sneezes. The SO complains about that a lot. Scares the heck out of them when I do that. But he couldn't wait. All up in my face. Oh. You jerks. Come on, inevitable. Let's do this thing. Try and type a Steam message, and the mouse falls off my lap. You really don't know what Gauntlet is? So I gifted this person Gauntlet the other day. Like the new 
Gauntlet, you know. And then they're asking, what is Gauntlet? It's, you know. Gauntlet. It's a classic. Just a new version of the classic Gauntlet. They're a bit younger, so I understand that to a certain extent. But you know, there was gaunt those Gauntlet arcade games like uh, what Gauntlet Legends, I think, and stuff. I almost bought a Gauntlet Legends arcade machine at one point. I was really close to buying one. I'm glad I didn't. So we played. Let's see. I can't remember what system they're on, but I had it on one system. I think it might have been GameCube. And uh, we spent a weekend completing it. It's like, yeah, I never want to play that again. <laughs> I'm done with that. Neat concept, neat game. It's kind of like the achievements for getting to like floor 99 and gauntlet. After floor 25, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. After floor 50, you're just tired and ready to stop. It's just not fun to keep grinding it. So. It's not my health, is it? Nope. One of the enemy's health bars is right by where mine is. I couldn't tell which one was which. I was getting worried there for a second. Not that I don't have three or four other places to look, but that particular one worried me. Look in there. Well, I guess I'm not raining, am I? I should be. Yeah, Dark Legacy. Another friend's playing RPG Maker. That's interesting. But yeah, the first gauntlet in the arcades. That's what I remember most. I do remember the version I had on Lynx, was it? Yeah, I think I had gauntlet on Lynx. Played that three or four player once or twice. That was fun. And the Dark Legacy arcade stuff was interesting. I played that. Chicago area, I think, to well, some business trips up there. I want to say a couple times. Had fun. Came back. Hey, there's my character again. I think that was the coolest part of the Dark Legacy stuff was the character progression that you could keep, which was one of the early arcade games to do that. And didn't use the cards like, uh, what was that driving game, that anime driving game that had the cards? Or that horse racing game that had the cards? You could do. It was just like username, password kind of thing, which was fine. That's all you really needed. I just like the 
fighting games where you could plug your own controllers in. That was a neat innovation in the arcades. We know that joysticks get worn out and the people running arcades don't replace them often enough, so here, just bring your own controller from home and you can use that instead. Nice concept. Plus you could log in with those. As I recall, get your... I don't know, what was it? It was mostly cosmetics, I think, you could get from that one. Being a fighting game and all. Yeah, the E3 uh, reviews I've seen of the new Street Fighter look fun, but I've long given up on fighting games. They're fun, but just really don't care to spend the hours it takes to get into them. I have several of the, at this point kind of older, but not horribly old, like Street Fighter 4 and one of the newer Mortal Kombat's and one of the newer Soul Calibers and stuff. And I just find I don't play them. They're just not that interesting to me anymore. Go in here, beat somebody up, go in here, beat somebody up, go in here, beat up, get beat up. Alright, I'm done. Next game. Played that one as much as I want to. I don't feel like spending the hours to grind all the unlocks and stuff. Is that two or three? I find I'm not sure. It was two. And I see no Beholder treasure chest over there. Just the endless slayers. LFM up, nothing else. Clusters of giant mushrooms grow more sparse as you emerge from the beholder's domain. Southern Fall is very handy at this section. I've screwed this up a couple times recently after I don't know how many perfect runs. I actually got stuck down there the other day. I had to use the stuck command to get out of it. It was annoying. I bounced off of one of the mushrooms and slid down in between them all and then never landed so I couldn't do anything. Couldn't get out of it. Deeply annoying. More tea, Vicar. I love how those guys run past you first. Just, it's beautiful. Where is this jerk? I don't know. Maybe he's this way. They all run past looking for you. song up and do this thing. this off. This great hall is flanked by towering statues from a lost age. They'll chose a dramatic 
Yeah, I'm by myself. I have to, I'm the one who has to avail. So used to being in groups doing this. Where you don't got to do it yourself. So squishy. You have destroyed the implacable marrow. Save the vampires from her view. Forty eight instead of like seventy, like I was getting before. Oh well. Last chance to see if Whisking is gonna work be up. Ship, please head back to ship. Thank you. Go to guild airship. Alrighty, I think that's going to do it for me tonight, guys and gals. Um, I really don't have anything else I want to do, and uh, yeah. So, I will be here next week, as far as I know. Same channel, same time, playing the same game. Oops, that did not work. Um, that's what I wanted. So yeah, uh, that will be be happening and uh for Anthelanus, might see you in game before then maybe I don't know the characters and all that but uh yeah I'll see you on other people's streams and uh have a good night thanks for watching this has been Seymour Goo on DDO's stream and uh pass you on to Gemini for more DDO action and excitement and adventure and dungeons and dragons and onlines and all that stuff. So have a good night and talk to you later.